From visitmysmokies.com, it's the Funcast, and I'm your Smoky Mountain meteorologist, Paul Poteet, with the final days of Smoky Mountain Winter Fest on this super weekend. Uh, millions of twinkling lights will finally fade on Monday and signaling the end of the holiday season officially in the mountains. The uh, holiday this weekend is romantic. And whether you're in Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg or Sevierville, there are plenty of places to enjoy a quiet Valentine's Day dinner. There's one of the best steakhouses in the Smokies, the Peddler. Not just the meat. Please meet one of the most extensive salad bars around when you go to the Peddler. Uh, You could take a romantic ride for Valentine's Day on the Great Smoky Mountain Wheel. You go nearly 200 feet in the air, you scoot in close to each other, snap a selfie from the top of the Ferris wheel, and while you're at the island of Pigeon Forge, you and your date can browse the shops, check out the attractions like the Escape Game and Skyfly Soar America. And... Of course, (laughs) more restaurants, too. Uh, You can work off all that restaurant food, though, maybe by taking a couple's hike. Here are a couple ideas for you uh, and your special someone. You can walk through the Tunnel of Love on the Gatlinburg Sky Bridge, which is lit up at night with thousands of red and white lights. They're doing that through the end of the month. And access is included with all tickets. And you know, the sun will be out in my forecast on Valentine's Day. So maybe do the Rainbow Falls Trail in the afternoon. You might see a rainbow produced by the mist from the 80-foot waterfall. The hike is five and a half miles total to the waterfall and back. Or you could get some exercise skiing with that special someone. At Obergatlinburg, there's still a 40 to 45-inch base. And when you click on our Stay button from the main menu, you can find a cozy cabin that you'll both love. So, love is in the air, and so are some mild temperatures in my seven-day forecast. Check that out. On Friday, highs into the mid-60s. Average highs this time of year are around 50 degrees. So, as a cold front approaches on Saturday, we'll be about average. We could see a few showers around in the morning, maybe again later in the evening. And then behind the front, it's only going to be in the 40s on Sunday and Monday. But we start heating up again. Beautiful hiking weather Tuesday and Wednesday, mid-50s Tuesday, lower 60s on Wednesday. We've got a pretty big system coming in. It looks like the final few days of next week. Rain starts on Thursday. It may go into Friday also. I'll be back again with another update soon from visitmysmokies.com.